I would love to introduce you guys to Harry. Harry the Hilux, 2011, middle-aged, three litre turbo diesel workmate. This episode is sponsored by Carbon Off-Road. They have really hooked up Harry. Let's have a look. Carbon winches, you know, a market leader, do amazing winches. Their new version two is actually out now. But they don't just do winches. They do full suspension, exhausts. They're the Australian distributor for diesel power and they've got a heap of stuff coming. So Dan has hooked us up here at Proper Mental with a few products to uh, review, do some testimonial work. <laughs> and actually put it to the test to see the improvements. Standard Hilux suspension, eh. Next minute, carbon off-road, oh yeah. So come with me, George Pappas, uh, not in the car, like I'm just gonna make some videos. Oh, by the way, check out this gear. The Carbon Crew, the hat, Culture King's hat, very comfortable. Make sure you order some of this amazing gear. You might be able to look half as good as this uh, when you buy your quality four-wheel drive off-roading overland parts from Carbon Off-Road Australia. Um, there's the stopwatch. We're gonna do zero to 100 tests in Harry the Hilux. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, we'll get there next week. Several days later. Now! 13! 13! Just all original. Just uh, coil, shock, upper control arm. All to be replaced with carbon off-road gear. Okay, so don't get excited. This is not four-wheel driving. I'm just showing how little it took for the standard suspension to scrape and bottom out. Oh, there we go. Front, right, scrape. Um, the standard suspension bottomed out. Um, I scraped multiple places. So yeah, basic stuff. Not that you would uh, find probably at the entry point to a four-wheel drive truck. Bit of a rev test. Load up onto the left here, and it just bounces around like it feels like a bit of a boat. That suspension's just not keeping any stiffness through the travel there. And bang, you go over a bump, and there's like a correction that goes back and forward at least once or twice. So it is getting taken to San Remo Automotive, which is literally across the road from me right now to get all the carbon off-road gear installed tomorrow. So I want to take it to them free of debris, not the cheese. Several days later. Right, Harry. Harry's up on the hoist and he's getting some love. Now these, are the original upper control arms and coil over shocks and everything's looking really, you know, standard, normal, dirty. Let's quickly go around the other side and see what the legends here have done to the left side. And there we are. Upgrades from carbon off-road. We got the coil over shock fully adjustable and the send it control arm all installed, all done by the pros and I cannot wait to test it out. Just so you know, this little port down here is a regas port. So if ever you want to, you can regas it. It's rebuildable. We're just uh, up here, uh, up near your lawn, and uh, not your lawn, or, or mine, it's a place. 
and they've got this thing on literally on the side of the road I saw this little track that goes up this this hill here and it looks like it gets a bit choppy up the top and there's some rivets and divots and also we can give it some stick and get up there It's just this section here that's just really good to test suspension, I'm guessing. Back into first, honestly just crawling up. So as you can see, I am super new to four-wheel driving, anything to do with outdoors, camping, overlanding, off-roading. So I just want to say a huge thanks to Dan and the crew at Carbon Off-Road for sending me these products, not only to review and do some uh, video work to show you guys about their products, but to learn how to use it. So thanks Carbon Off-Road. So as you can see, the finish on all the products is uh, really good, especially for the price point. Comparatively, you're looking at other stuff. It's gonna be, some of these products I've seen are double the price. Um, and unlike this uh, terrible video, um, the quality of the products is not like that. But it does sound like a big suck job and you know, I'm sponsored in this. Not at all, I'm doing a long-term review so it's the first video it's the first stages and I'm literally learning about the products and how to use them as I go so bear with me uh, I'll show you a quick rundown of some of the products that Dan has sent me in the recovery pack and some other things before I let you go um, because I'm sure you are dying to do that and uh, yeah uh, check this out all right so due to the fact that Harry the Hilux only has a standard bull bar I'm still in the process of upgrading that to be able to accept a winch. I haven't fitted the awesome carbon off-road winch, especially the new version as well. I actually do have a second-hand one um, that I was going to do some testing with on another vehicle to compare the two. So stay tuned for that. But here are some of the uh, products like this 5 meter, 12 ton rated uh, tree sling. So you just wrap it around the huge trees and you hook your winch up to it and it pulls you out. Now this one is actually a tubular sling that's been sewn a certain way, so it's lighter and strong and will last a bit longer as well. Awesome stuff here. Check out this massive solid forged steel chunk of wickedness. It is the shin buster and I've been explicitly told in my early days here that I'm not to use my tow ball for uh, recovery. You must use something for safety like this recovery hook and it saves heaps of time just whack it on so you what are you whacking on your hook well you need a recovery rope right this is the carbon off-road monkey fist kinetic recovery rope it's more abrasion resistant it's got a special coating over the core um, they've got heaps more give they're super strong um, they don't take up as much room a new product the monkey fist very monkey fisty and this one you can set up it's a different diameter you can set it up as a bridle so link it to your two front points at the car gets you a bit of extra length everyone needs a bit of extra length if you know what i mean stop it come on want more innovation well here's some it's a soft shackle it's 13 ton monkey fist rated soft shackle it's abrasion resistance of course if your recovery points all nicked up it's probably not that good comes in a nice bag with a soft touch thing it's very nice okay for all in the know you know that tire pressure is key to getting grip. I didn't know that. So here's the speedy little uh, carbon branded tire deflator. I've got to learn how to use that. I'll report back when I know more. Did you say customization? Everyone wants to pimp their ride. If you've got a certain color scheme you're rocking, here's a sheath for your rope. So when you're color coding it to your car, it looks bloody awesome. Did somebody say performance upgrade? Check out this diesel power module. So Carbon is also the Australian distributor for these bangers. They're super easy to put in. And basically what it does is real-time remapping. So 
Uh, I also got the new uh, exhaust, which I'll show you straight after this. And between that, um, this thing is just remapping and you can actually dial it up or down. So if you want more power and less fuel um, efficiency, you can do that or you can go back for fuel efficiency for road use. Uh, if you're going off road, pump it right up to 10 so you've got those extra revs. Uh, I have noticed a difference straight off the bat. She flies off the mark. I've got it set at six and it's a perfect balance for me at the moment, but I, I'm looking forward to dialing it up when I go off road again. Now here is that three inch exhaust. It's a carbon off-road branded exhaust that comes with everything you need to fit it. And they're CNC mandrel bent. Um, they're, they're fitment guaranteed for your model. Uh, it's packed in a box of transport, but it, the value for money on this is awesome. And the note this thing gives my car, as you heard, it's tough and I'm not even tough, so it's great. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know, this is the old podcast set up here. Uh, Dan and I have collaborated on a podcast series which has just started. We've got a couple of episodes up and it's called Off Rodeo. Off Rodeo, your 4x4 and overlanding podcast. But here we are, episode two. We got the main man, Dan, at the head office and Johnny from Bushwhacker. We're going to have lots of fun, lots of stories that, as the uh, series uh, grows. So, yeah, Off Rodeo, check it out on Spotify. I just got myself a new podcast in microphone. Thanks so much for tuning in to Off Rodeo. Rightio. You also should go to carbonoffroad.com.au to have a look at what I'm talking about because everything can be found right here. Oh, Carbon Crew hashtag get 20 bucks off your next purchase. But they have a massive range here, so check it out.